So exercise is good for you, right? Well, of course it is, but why is it good for you? Well, this is interesting, but a lot of studies actually showed that first of all, exercise is good to reduce the perceived levels of stress, which is obviously bad, but also it actually le leads to the lengthening of our telomeres, which is really remarkable, which are, which are the caps at the ends of chromosomes, right? Which are linked to longevity, right? So you can have somebody with a certain chronological age, but biologically is much younger because his telomeres are longer. And so exercise actually lengthens telomeres. But what exercise is the best one? Well, it turns out that having compact and explosive muscle fibers beats out pure bulk muscle mass. You want these fibers that can exert a lot of force, these explosive, explosive force over a short period of time. So two exercises that are very good for that are super slow training and seven minute body weight training. So super slow training involves lifting relatively heavy weights very slowly where you do each rep for 30 to 60 seconds under tension and you do as many reps as you can until you fa until you reach failure. Because you're lifting them slowly, the risk of injury goes way down. Now you wanna do it for an upper body push, an upper body pull, a lower body push and a lower body pull. So you wanna do each of these four, an exercise for each of these four, where you literally lift and lower for around 30 to 60 seconds each, doing it super slowly and doing as many reps for each of these four movements up to failure. The next type of exercise is called the seven minute body weight workout. This was shown by science in, um, to be a very effective workout and it involves doing 12 exercises for 30 seconds explosively with 10 seconds of rest in between. Again, great for these explosive muscle fibers. Another thing which, which is great to have those explosive fast twitch fibers that are linked to longevity is doing a sauna session, which is great to boost the effects of exercise even more because the two work synergistically. So the great things about infrared sauna is that it can actually help buffer lactic acid and increase blood flow to fuel your muscle fibers. And it can even build new red blood cells. How cool is that? So you can literally do all the exercises or all the movements that you want. You can do push-ups, squats, yoga, inside the sauna, whether it's dry sauna, steam sauna, or infrared sauna. You can also do a post-workout for increased blood flow for muscles and then to enhance recovery. Now, sauna also has cool effects like antioxidant effects, eliminating free radicals, um, and even activating heat shock proteins, right? One of which, heat shock protein 70, which has been linked to longevity, as well as it can be used to repair misfolded proteins, etc. Now, it's not beneficial to do a cold soak or a cold shower after a workout because a cold shower will reduce the hormetic effects, hormetic effects of exercise. That's why doing a sauna session is better because it can enhance recovery and, um, and actually increase muscle growth even even more because the, these heat shock proteins were shown to increase muscle growth. So you're able to synergistically enhance the performance effects of exercise.